These lemons will taste like squirrel. Hey everyone and welcome back to Animal Crossing New Leaf. I started up the game and guess what? Guess what? Look at the screen, I'm so excited. One of our residents, Paula, is leaving tomorrow. It's a little sad, isn't it? No. If you feel like it, saying goodbye as the mayor might be a nice thing for you to do. No. I'm not, I'm not going near her. I'm not going to jeopardize this. Because that could happen. That could very much happen. Oh, Nate. Oh, his birthday party is on the 16th. I always, like, I never play. <laughs> ah! Get away from me, Victoria. Unless you're telling me that you're leaving, I don't want to see your stupid face. Oh, I'm so happy. I'm so happy. I'm so happy. Paula is leaving. Good job, guys. We did a good job ignoring her. It worked. It has not been a while since you saw me, Elvis. Don't lie. Oh, I should probably talk to Lucy, too. I don't want her to leave. What do you mean, long time no see? It hasn't, like, it really hasn't been that long. It's been a couple days. It really has not been that long. You guys are just being dramatic. You're just being super dramatic. So, I love my head thing. I forget what this is called, but I got it during the fireworks thing that was on Sunday. Hey, man. Hey there, butt snort. So what can I do for you? Let's talk. So I was wondering if you'd do a big favor for me. I got this present for Lucy, but I was thinking it'd be a better surprise if you delivered it for me. Aw, does he like Lucy? Look, he look, he's looking all shy. He's looking all shy. Especially if you sang a little song to go with it. Okay, no, I'm not doing that. Will you please deliver the present for me? Sure. She's like two feet away. I mean, you could do it, but... I guess I'll do it. Yes, I'll take care of this. I'll do it right now. I'll do it right now for you, Nate. Just for you. Um, I'm sorry if my voice sounds a little phlegmy, but if you were at the stream on Wednesday, you'll know that my allergies have been out of control the past, I don't know, week and a half, and it's just, it's driving me crazy. And I basically have two options. I can either try to ignore it or take my allergy medication, and if I do that, uh, I will sleep for the, most of the day because the only thing that works is something with antihistamine in it and that puts me to sleep. I've tried so many things. I, uh, like, I've tried nasal sprays and neti pots and, like, everything and that is the only thing that works. And it literally, like, I will be asleep. If you were, if you were at the stream on Wednesday, uh, you'll know because I was, like, half asleep throughout the whole stream. People are like, you sound tired. Yes, I was. And it just, it, the effects linger. Like, even if I take a nap or something, I'll still wake up and just feel exhausted for about 24 hours or even longer. So I really try to avoid taking it when I can. Um, but yeah, so if I sound phlegmy now or probably in any other video, that's probably why. Okay, let's give her the present and stop talking about my disgusting phlegm. I have a delivery for you. I don't know what's in there. It's from your boyfriend. Wow, something from Nate for me? What's the occasion? What do you think is inside? If you guess right, I'll give you a prize. What? Uh, what? Probably not food. Um. Oh my gosh, furniture? Pro um. I'm probably not, right? <laughs> oh man, I was gonna guess clothing. Damn it. So I delivered that to you for nothing? Lucy, how am I supposed to guess that? You know what? I'm not even talking to you right now. I'm upset with you. I wonder if Nate will give me something because I delivered it. Nate. Where did he go? He was like right here. Did he go back to his house? No? Oh, I'm so happy Paula is leaving. That means we'll have an open spot for a much cooler villager. It's very exciting. Oh, Sahara, fool me once. Shame on you. You're not gonna fool me again. Never. 
Where the heck did Nate go? He just vanished. I mean, he's a big dude. He can't move that fast. There he is. Hey. Oh, so I can't talk to you because you're fishing? Well, you're lame. Oh, I think we have a camper. Guys, no, no. Why do I always do this? I always ruin these things. Look at the lemon tree. Filbert. Filbert became a lemon tree. Oh. These lemons will taste like squirrel. Okay, that was gross. Let's go into the tent and see the the villager. Who's it gonna be, guys? Is it gonna be someone creepy? <gasps> You're cute! Oh, I'm not anyone suspicious. My name's Graham. I'm just out camping in Katoria. The local fruit, the orange, is so delicious, yum yum. I could eat them all day. Really like it here in Katoria. I could get used to it indeed. Oh! He's a hamster! He's cute! Do we want him? Do we want him? I don't know. I kind of like him. Graham Cracker. He's kind of, like, nerdy. But he's so small! He's a little hamster. Ugh, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I can't make decisions. Let's just keep talking to him and see what happens. One time I woke up and I wasn't in my tent or my sleeping bag. I was just sleeping outside. That was a good experience, all things considered. Proved I could be close to nature indeed. Okay. What else can, What else do you say, little hamster? I noticed something while camping here in Katoria. There's something in this town that feels like it matches with me. Perhaps the warm smiles? You should move here. Let's be fair and decide this by playing a game. If you win, I'll move to this town, no questions asked indeed. However, if you lose, I'll take something from you. Wow, what an asshole. Oh, well, you can have that. I don't... That's fine. That's... That's not really amazing. Well then, let's decide it by playing charades. I'm gonna use a series of gestures to describe something. Try to guess what it is. Don't move your eyes away from me, ready? Here you go. What? When it's... you start... What causes that? One more time. When it's... you start... What causes that? Oh. Dust. You're talking about allergies. <laughs> wow, how freaking ironic is that? That's kind of creepy. I think my Animal Crossing cartridge is self-aware. Since I promised, I'm moving to Katoria in the near future. Just you wait indeed. These kinds of faithful encounters always seem to happen when you least expect them. Oh, by the way, I didn't get your name yet. Kato, great. Nice to meet you. I am the mayor, and I have now added someone else to my cult. I'm excited. Bet against your table lamp and play the flower card game? Okay. I don't... Alright, let's, you know. Why not? I don't really want this lamp, but whatever. Yes, explain the rules. I don't know what this is. So, here are the game's rules. There are three cards here. Each card has different pictures on the back. Roses, cosmos, and dandelions. I'll shuffle the cards and then you have to choose one. You have to try to find the card with roses. After every round, you'll return the card to the deck for me to shuffle once again. We'll go through three rounds. That's three and only three. If you control the roses three times, I'll give you the table lamp for free. Oh, like, yeah, like I'm gonna be able to do that. Keep in mind that the price will vary depending on the number of correct answers, so be careful, okay? Those should be enough for the rules. Shall we get started then? Okay. Uh, uh, this one. Uh, what is it? Oh, I got the roses. All right, cool. And second round. Ooh, uh, middle? Ah, Cosmos. Man. Uh, let's go to the middle again. Yes. Oh, I got the roses. Cool. I almost had a perfect game. Almost. Thanks, dude. Aw. Cool. So we have a new villager moving in. Exciting. I wonder what's gonna happen when the amiibo cards uh, become a thing? Like... If you already have the maximum number of villagers, what's going to happen? 
I don't know. I don't know. It probably won't, like, let you do anything. It'd be kind of funny if it would be like, do you want to kick this villager out of your town? <laughs> Actually, yes. I do. But, but Paula is leaving, and that only leaves Victoria, so I feel like we're pretty good. If we just keep ignoring Victoria, she'll leave. Wait, don't I already have this? Why do you have it again? I, I already have that. I mean, I guess I could get another one. Oh, I'm gonna buy the sparkler, though. <gasps> what do- what? What do I have? I don't even know what's in my inventory. Did I never put any of this stuff away? Oh, I sell the fishnets <laughs> in my inventory. Whoops. Okay, so now I can buy the sparkler because I put some of my stuff away. I don't want to miss out since you only get to buy these during summer, so. Probably only during August, be my guess. Let's see if the Evil Sisters have anything. I want a different shirt to go with my headband thing. Well, I spy with my little eye garbage, garbage, and garbage. Anger. What in the world is this? The Afro Cap. What even? Oh my god. I- I don't- I don't even, like... I don't even know what to say to that. Well, nothing here as usual. I'm very disappointed in you, LaBelle. Just very disappointed. I need a new shirt to go with my- what- this thing. I don't know if I have one in storage. I will have to check them because I love this hat. But anyway, I think that's going to do it for this episode. Let me know what you guys think of our new villager, Graham, in the comments below. So thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you in the next episode.